Hey everybody, what's going on? Your host, Lovely Cheese Pizza here. Welcome back to Let's Play some more Gran Turismo 3, the ultimate driving simulator. And uh, in the last episode, we're back. We're finally back. And uh, we atoned for our sins by going through and redoing uh, Midfield Raceway after we had gotten absolutely just horrendously beaten within an inch of our own lives by a GT40. Uh, by like 20 seconds, and we hopped in the Zonda, and <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was it was like using the penetrator gun in fear and just boom, nailing somebody to the wall with it. It was very satisfying. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do um, we're gonna do Laguna Seca and finish up that little cup challenge and get our prize for it. And I've been sitting here going through my cars for a minute, trying to figure out what I want to use. Like I kind of want to give myself a really good challenge by using the GT40 that's decked out as as well as I can do it. Um, and I know there's a GT40 that's gonna be in that race, and that's kind of what scares me. <laughs> And I know there is the other option that I could take the 3400S because it has more horsepower. The only thing I worry about is whether it's going to handle well enough or not. Because I know that the GT40 has really good handling. And that's one thing that I do like. But I kind of almost want to do this just to have a little bit of that insurance to go along with it. Because that's 631 horsepower as opposed to, what, 570? 580? That's not a really big jump, though. Mm, screw it. You know what? We're gonna stick with this. I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with my guns. We're gonna we're gonna do what we gotta do. So I just uh you know it's it's really it's what it's gonna come down to is I'm gonna have to not drive more or less like a piece of shit. <laughs> like as long as I can not do something stupid, and I may have to resort to some you know not particularly ethical means to get done what I have to get done. Um, hey, sometimes you can do what you gotta do, man. I kinda wanna do a qualifying lap, um, cause this is only a 10 lap race, so like it's gonna get down to the nitty gritty real quick. Hmm, cause if I can find a way to like start out in front of that GT40, like right away, it would be a really good idea. But, I mean, it's starting in fourth position, though, so maybe that's going to be my opportunity right there. Let's just do it. Fuck it. <laughs> I, you know, I I haven't learned yet. I haven't learned yet. <laughs> There's always things that I can do to better myself, and I haven't learned yet. <laughs> I'm just going to do something stupid until it pisses me off, and I start sweating like a fucking maniac in here, being mad and yelling at my screen. Okay, here we go. So the thing, the thing that I have to get used to here is that the handling on this car is really a lot, it's a lot tighter than it was on the Zonda, so I, I've got to get used to that. Um, and just as long as I don't let that GT40 go out and get in front of me, then we're going to be okay. Because once that thing gets in front of me, I'm going to have a rough time catching up with it, because I just don't, I don't have that top end speed to, to ward it off, because it's the same fucking car. Probably to the T. It's probably got exactly the same stuff that I've got in mind. And so the, the big things that are going to help me out here are having a really, really clean area right up here that was not what I wanted. And here he comes. <laughs> and it's super sick looking, dude. Like, I want the black one really bad. Okay. Okay. Oh, God. Man, he really just came tearing through that thing. Like, that's that's going to be my Achilles heel here, is handling that particular section. Like, if I can find a way to get through that without having to slow down as much as I'm slowing down, like, that's going to be that's gonna be where, where, I, where I make my money. There we go. That was actually, all in all, not a bad first lap. It's, it wasn't the greatest thing in the world, but hey, I'm, I'm holding first place. I just have to do it nine more times in a row, <laughs> and that's what scares me. But we're going to make it. Oh, God. All right, that's not half bad. I may not, I may not be as, as talkative through the opening parts of this because I'm, I am, I am all in right now. The, the chips are in the middle of the table, and I'm, I'm going for that, uh, oh, fuck you. 
You're already you're already going for it. Piss off, you little wanker. <laughs> God. You thought Oh, oh, here we go. Okay, he spun out a little bit. That's good news. Yeah, let the Zonda ha have him for a minute. Whew. Jesus. Hey, he, he tried doing the bold move and it came back and bit him right square in the dong, so that's not my fault. Okay, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta get through this really well. That was definitely better than the last one. I will absolutely take that. That's, that is good news. I don't think we're gonna have to use the pit here. That's, that's good news. Oh boy. Okay. Oh god. Okay. Okay. Right. Yeah, I, I know. I, I, there's gonna be a couple of moments here where I go dark and I'm not talking. I just I'm 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 all the way in on focus right now. Um, I mean, this is this is the ultimate driving simulator, but I'm not in the Matrix, so I can't exactly go <laughs> and just you know make up shit as I go and alter programs and shit and be like, hey, you know what? I'm about to lose, but I'm just going to hack into this thing and make the other car explode, which is <laughs> not even something that it can do, and give myself the W. Well, that's good news. We're up by over two seconds right now. Speaking of the Matrix, the fourth one's coming out, you know, a couple days before Christmas, and I saw the trailer for that, and like, I'm really excited about it, but I'm I'm really perplexed by it because it feels so much different than all of the other Matrix movies and like it makes me excited and really worried at the same time cuz like everything that I thought that it was going to be I it clearly has thrown me for a loop cuz I I really thought and unless they're just, you know, doing a masterful job at concealing this um I really, I really thought that, uh, you know, I thought that, like, the main, the main antagonist of the movie was gonna be, like, you know, maybe, like, the architect again, or, oh my god, he's right behind me, or maybe, like, the Merovingian, because, I mean, the way they played both of those characters in the second Matrix and, and the third, obviously, for the Merovingian's purpose, because he was in that one, was that, you know, he was... A seriously dangerous program, um, and you know the, the architect was uh, at the end of the third movie was you know really kind of uh, you know perturbed. At least that's kind of the the way that it looked that you know that Neo was able to pull off what he pulled off, um, and so I you know you kind of figured that there would be some sort of presence involving the two of them. In, uh, in the fourth Matrix via the trailer, but they never really went there. Uh, it just, you know, but I, I kind of still like the angle that they're taking is that, you know, Neo has, is basically ultra blue pilled right now. <laughs> oh god, okay, here we go. No. Oh, fuck you. Piss off. God, I don't, I don't need you doing this to me right now. Man, we are gonna be just duking this shit out at the very last moment. It's gonna it's gonna come down to the last turn, which is exactly what I was afraid of. That we're gonna literally be doing this at the very end. Okay, alright. No, I don't want him undercutting me. I don't want it. Yep, I will hold him off with my final dying breath. <laughs> I just it's it's I'm not gonna let him have it. No matter what he tries to do, no matter what he offers me, that dude could offer me that fucking pay-as-you-go subs monthly subscription for Taco Bell for for tacos or whatever, which is fucking awesome, by the way. I mean, not that I'm doing it. I mean, they finally broke down and decided, you know what? <laughs> We're gonna do a, a a a taco club, if you will. Which, you know, if they made that burritos, I'd be so down with that. It's literally, you just get a free taco a day. <laughs> you just, you know, you pay a, a monthly fee to do it, and you can literally get, like, one taco a day. And if, if it, dude, if they made that, if you could get one burrito a day, I, A, would become just massively engorged with burrito-based fat, but, you know, that's a, that's, that's a fate that I am willing to endure. That is, that is a death I'm willing to die. Here we go. Let's let's retake our position again. There we go. Okay. Yep. And boy, man, we are we are going toe to toe here. This is this is 
you know. Oh, boy. This is like Pacquiao Marquez territory right here. Oh, fuck you. Okay, here we go. We just we got to get that slipstream. Got to stick behind him. Not let him get away. There we go. And then... Oh, boy. Okay, that's... Okay, he, he gave he gave me <laughs> he gave me a little a little juke move there. I was gonna try and give play a little bumper pool with him. Oh there we go. That's there we go. Okay, we we've 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 reassumed what we needed here. But yeah, dude, if 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 they had a burrito thing for that, I'd be so much I'd be so much more down than uh you know than it being just tacos. Cause like I, I like their tacos, but I, I couldn't see myself getting one you know, one a day for the entire month. Like, I, I wouldn't be able to make that worth it. Um, but burritos? Hell yeah. But, I mean, it is Taco Bell and not Burrito Bell, so... <laughs> I, I guess, you know, you, you gotta go with your namesake on that. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, I spun him out! Oh! Oh my god, I spun him out! Oh, that's that's amazing! Oh my god, as long as I don't fuck it up now, we, we have done it. <laughs> we have done partially the seemingly unthinkable oh man that was great now let's just let's relax here let's let's not get ahead of ourselves here we go so yeah dude, back to back to the matrix though like he's he's like ultra blue pilled out and like he's stuck in the matrix and he encounters he encounters trinity and she doesn't even know who the fuck he is because she's obviously being controlled by the machines because you could see like code running down her face at one point which i thought was really strange and i don't i can't even imagine how that's gonna unfold and obviously there's still agents in there but smith is gone which really makes me sad and there's like young morpheus in there so they're obviously in like a different time period altogether, which I don't know how the hell they went back in time, or like what format of time travel they're gonna use, but I'm super down with the guy that they cast to play young Morpheus, though, and he looks fucking awesome. It's just there's like so many different things in there that are just, they're so strange, and like, having guys like Neil Patrick Harris playing the therapist, which seems like there's gonna be a lot more to it than just him being the average therapist, I'm, I'm sure that he's probably a fucking program. You know, that's employed by somebody <laughs> that's going to have an ulterior motive. Along with Jonathan Groff, which, um, you know, another really strange move there. Like, I, I've, I've, seen, I've seen Glee, and, like, that's, you know, that's where... That's, like, every, every time I see him, I, I take it back to that, and it's just like, I can't take him seriously. Like, I'm expecting him to break out in song or something. <laughs> and it's just... It just it, it doesn't it doesn't vibe with me there, but you know it, it is what it is, um, and he seems like he might be kind of like the the sneaky antagonist guy because uh, there's just there's something that's really weird about his character, and there's there was a little Easter egg about something that's in his office that I I can't remember what uh, what it refers to, but it's something that you know has like a like a hint that you know go you know, you're inside the matrix and this guy knows too much and. <laughs> <laughs> it's not gonna end well and some shit like that um, And I think even in like in the hallway and like one of the hallway scenes like the the name of the building They're in is called like deus ex machina Which is totally the name of like the machine god or whatever that was at the end of the third movie uh, And so it's just like there's a lot of weird little little you know links around and I'm just I'm super pumped about it and I've been I've been you know, rewatching Matrix movies over the last couple of days while I've been doing homework, just to kind of you know keep myself fresh and, and be ready for for when that comes out. And uh, ugh, just so good. I think I think one thing that I want to do also is I want to play a couple of the it, it, at least if I if I play one of them, I would play Enter the Matrix for PS2 uh, here on the channel because I I logged a lot of time on that game. I loved that game. And I just, I, I haven't played it in well over 10 years, and so I'm actually very intrigued to see, you know, whether that, whether that game holds up the way that I, if it's, if it's the way that I remember, and if it actually really was a good game or not, or if I, it's just something that, you know, I was so blinded by the fact that it was just, it was the Matrix, and you get to play as Neo, and you get to fight people, and there's, like, bullet tiny stuff in there, and, you know, there's, like, they actually did, like, they filmed, like, actual scenes that weren't even necessarily, like, ones from the movie. 
you know, they had like actual, you know, it was just, it, it, was, it was all really, really well done. And so I'm hoping that it, you know, it holds up the way that my mind has, has built it to be. Uh, so we'll just, we'll have to see. We'll see. But hey, again with this, I, I am very, very pleased with the way that we've handled this race. Obviously we... We were the beneficiary of the fact that we spun out that GT40, but even when he took that little momentary lead, you know, we were able to to you know creep back up on his heels and, and overtake him again. And it's been a very clean race. I've I've not had any situations where you know we we almost lost it. We had one spot where we kind of drove into the dirt a little bit, and it wasn't exactly a uh, <laughs> it wasn't something that I'd write home about as far as it being a quality turn, but. You know, when we're still holding a about a six, six, five and a half second lead going into this last lap, and so unless I do something, oh wow, it's seven seconds. So unless we do something horrendously stupid here, like spin out on the hairpin turn, knock on wood, uh, I think we're gonna pull, we're gonna pull out the W here, and I get to find out what our prize car is, and I'm hoping that it's something that I don't have already. Because you know, I, I don't want. I mean, I love getting new cars. Like I, you know, I. I, I want to get something that I don't that I don't have already. I don't need it to be top drive syndrome, which, man, I've been playing so much of that game over the last couple years. That's that's been like that's been my fill in the void of playing a car game since I've not been able to play this. Has been top drives, <laughs> which I think I've talked about it, you know, in a different video before. But it's it's such a fun mobile game. I love it, and you know, obviously it's one where you can definitely pay to win and you know, get all the all the shit, but it's just a cool little, you know, car based, you know, card game where you 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 know, do races and you collect cards and you can upgrade the cars and, you know, get better ones and you know, they've got such a wide array of different things, you know. They've got all the they've got, you know, a whole bunch of different tiers worth of cars from, you know, F cars that are, you know, really shitty ones to S cars that are like legendary grade, you know, like major race cars. Man, he really closed the gap fast there. Holy shit, man. <laughs> we were ahead by seven seconds at the beginning of that lap, and he closed it down to three. Man, that was nuts. That was a furious rally at the end there. I gotta give him credit. Jesus. Um, but yeah, it's cool, man. Like, this, there's, there's so many different, like, mechanics in that game, and, like, choosing the cars in certain situations against, like, other players and all the different like tournaments they run and uh, just like little challenges and things it's fun like there's always something new to do in there and for for a little free game it's it's awesome there's so much like replay value in there and there's thousands and thousands of cars available and so it's just it's it's awesome I, I love stuff like that and so I've been playing for a long time um, but now we get we get the cream of the crop here and what what did we yeah, let's let's go check the let's go check the garage on that. I want to get a closer look at that at that lovely little thing. So we got ourselves the old ZZ2, the the ZZ Top. Man, I loved I loved this car in Gran Turismo 2. Uh, that I I had a blast with this thing, and so and it's four wheel drive, which I did not expect that. For some reason, I thought it was going to be something different. Let's uh, let's hop into it. Let's see if we can beef it up a little bit. Just because we've got three million dollars, we might as well... <laughs> we might as well. So let's see if we can at all. We may not even be able to, but we'll at least give it a shot and see if there's anything here. If there'd be probably anything, it'd be under the turbo kit system. So let's see. And everything looks... Ah, here we go. Okay, so there's two stages of it. That'll get us to... Oh, my God! <laughs> I did not expect that to go up to 900. I'm so down with that. 14,500 bucks to go up to 900 horsepower. That is a fucking steal if I've ever seen one. Holy smokes. Okay, let's get some racing tires. We've already got the mediums. Um... <laughs> I mean... Yeah, let's yeah, let's just kind of let's just kind of stick here with uh, let's do like a medium slick, or maybe maybe this one. Um, 
Yeah, let's go medium slick. It's probably not going to be that much different from the ones we have on right now, but man, that car. I think we're going to I think we're going to use this for something. What what would we what would we use this in? Let's let's take a look at that for a minute. If there's like a short little race we could try it in. Oh, we do have the four-wheel drive challenge. That would be literally the place that we would use it. Deep forest. Fuck, man. The these this is what you give me, huh? This is what we're going to be up against. I mean, okay. Well, I mean, <laughs> Oh god, and it's the long one. Oh my god. At least it's not what route 12, the extra extra long one. Um hmm. <laughs> Deep forest. Do I really want to put myself through that right now? I don't think I'm ready to put myself through that right now. Okay. Let's let's see what else is here. Let's let's check out some things. Oh. We've got races to redo there. Fourth place. Wow, that's terrible. Uh, front wheel drive challenge. What races are here? Rome circuit. Oh wow. Okay. All right. That's a that's a nice little rough challenge. We got Apricot Hill, Midfield, Deep Forest. That's not too bad. Spider Roadster, Turbo Sports. Okay. I mean, this car would probably be. Oh. Okay. I wonder what cars are in here. If test course, if if the test course is a thing, what cars will we be up against in in this? Let's let's check this out for a second. Let's check this out. I want to see what other cars are here because I mean we got 900 and, 910 horsepower. We may even be able to use this car for it. If not, then I'll have to employ some other means. What the fuck? <laughs> what is going on with the color? What was that? <laughs> you guys saw it. What the hell did I just see? That was... That was weird. Okay. Okay, we definitely... We can absolutely use the ZZ2 in this, and we would rip people apart with it. Let's do it. <laughs> it's it's a quick little race. We'll get it out of the way. I am, I am all the way down with that. Let's go. I mean, I was expecting to see, like, a... Like the Calsonic 787B or or whatever or, um, oh yeah, oh dude, they, they don't even know what's coming. They don't even know. <laughs> They're just like, oh dude, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fuck you up. I've got my mind's Lancer. I'm going 95 miles an hour on the freeway, and then I'm gonna slow down. I'm gonna wait until you pass me, and then I'm gonna gun it again just so I can laugh at you. That happened to me a couple nights ago. It was my brother's birthday, and we went out to dinner. And uh, when we were on our way home, he let me drive. Uh, he let me drive his new car, which was awesome, by the way. Oh boy! Yep. All right. Well, that's gonna be pretty much the end of that. Um, and we're driving back on the freeway, and this dude in this bullshit little little Lancer of his, you know, comes up next to me, and you, you can hear that he's got his little fucking fart can on, uh, you know, on his exhaust. And it sounds like shit. Uh oh. Okay, is he? We're going 212 miles an hour, and we are not. We are definitely not putting him away. He's actually gaining ground on me. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, I was very wrong here. I was very wrong here. That was. This was a mis. This was a severe lapse in judgment. Okay. All right. Well, I have made a mistake. I have made a very large mistake. He is definitely going to beat us. I figured going, being able to go 213 miles an hour was going to be enough, but I was, <laughs> I was very, very mistaken because he is just taking us to the fucking cleaners. Good lord above. All right. Well, I mean, we're going to end up having to quit this one because we're not going to make it. I mean, at this rate, the guy that's back there might even catch up to us. All right, I mean, hey, you know, you've you have now invoked the wrath of the fucking wizard. So, okay, all right, all right, all right. I understand. Totally understand. Had that one coming. That was that was my own fault. That was my own fault. Um, but yeah, we were driving back, and this dude in this little bullshit little fucking 
Lancer comes driving up and he goes speeding by us and then he slows down and he, you know, does he revs the engine and, ring, 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 and he's trying to get me to race him and it's like, dude, I've got a fucking minivan in front of me. You really think I'm going to race you right now? Like, I'm just going to ram them out of the way and send them into the fucking median <laughs> just so you can show me your shitty little car that has no fucking front bumper. Like your little fucking friend in the front seat's gonna sit there and jack you off while you're driving because he's just so wildly impressed with how fast you're you're driving on a fucking freeway at you know nine o'clock at night. Boy, that's that's just gotta do it right there. Nothing uh, nothing sends somebody into a fucking boner frenzy like watching somebody try to race a fucking Acura on the freeway. <laughs> All right, well I mean hey. You know, this is what they're going to do to me. They're going to send me into this place. So, here we go. Do I want to use that or do I want to use this? That's only 690. That's crazy. This has 690 horsepower. This has almost double. That's fucking nuts. All right, we're going to do it. So, let's let's go hop into this. If I lose with this, then I deserve to die. You know, I, I deserve to have somebody hunt me down and, you know, snipe me through a window and... Yeah, that'll be the end of that. Um, Turbo Sports. Man, that is just crazy. I can I cannot believe that I lost that. I really I really thought. Oh, uh, what what are we not allowed to use? Turbo vehicles only. Oh, well, I, okay. I don't know why I, I don't know why I thought that that Zonda wasn't. Okay, so let's think about this. What else can we do? It's going to have a shitload of horsepower to it. Ugh, I'm tired. I went to bed at 3 in the morning last night because I was up until all hours of the night. Um, wait a minute. What car What car was it that we that we made do a fucking wheelie? Which one was that? It was the it was the Vertigo. I wonder if we could still do that. Hmm. It might even be worth a try. But I mean... <laughs> huh. Well, I wouldn't be able to anyways because it's not a turbo car. Shit. Okay. Um, what can we get into that is turbo? <laughs> hmm. Well, this is, a, this is a unique problem now, isn't it? Let's see, what do we got as far as horsepower goes? Um, is this one turbo? Or is it not? It may not be. It's not. No, I already, already knew that. That's right. Um, 1007. But that's NA also. Fuck! This is, this is rough right now. Rough in the streets. And we had a car that had 900 horsepower and we, and we couldn't make it happen with that. That's, that's, that's crazy to me. This is turbo. 922. I mean, you would think. You would think. I'm just going. I'm going through everything else here just to make sure. I mean, that that seems like it's got, that's got to be the winning formula. Is is to be is to be this guy right here. I mean, that seems like the choice. But I'm gonna I'm gonna check a couple other things here. That I know that Corvette's not gonna be it. That Z neither of the Zondas are gonna be it. Um, definitely not that, but if, if it were, that'd be fucking nuts. It is. <laughs> like, it, it, that seems like it's not even fair. <laughs> like, that doesn't even seem like an, an option that should even be allowed. <laughs> it just, it just doesn't. Uh, but I kind of really want to. Like, I feel like if I got to use it for, like, one thing, it's got to be for that. I mean, it, it would be wrong not to. <laughs> It felt wrong not to swing. Um, okay, I'm not gonna use it for the test course. That does that see that seems that seems like a little bit of a, a gross overreach of power. But um, let's just make sure that this has everything that's that's possible to have in it. I'm sure it probably does. I don't even think we can probably buy anything for this at this juncture. Okay, I was gonna say, wait a minute. <laughs> you mean to tell me that there's something that I hadn't done to this yet? Uh, but no, not not the case. Okay, let's let's go take another crack at this. I'm gonna be particularly upset if uh, if it doesn't work out. 
because that would mean that I don't have a car in my arsenal outside of the Pike's Peak that could handle it. Which seems really stupid, because, I mean, the car that I'm using is a, it's a fucking race car. <laughs> like, it should have everything and then some to handle this particular task, since its uh, predecessor could not. So, here we go. Don't let me down, or I will, I will be upset. Man, that restaurant we went to, that was pretty solid. I had, I had lobster mac and cheese, which, oh. Anytime you can have mac and cheese with fucking lobster in it, so it was a CTR2, okay. I mean, I should still be able to handle this. I, I don't know why I wouldn't. It just, it, it, it seems unfathomable that 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 car would be faster than this. If it is, I'm I'm going to be very confused. So, here we go. We'll just we'll have to see. I mean, he's he's already up here. It's definitely it already it already appears that it's going to be a pretty a pretty uh, defined thing that it's going to be me and him as the only Oh no. Dude, this car is not going to be able to do it either. You've got to be kidding me. How is that CTR2 so much fucking faster than me? <laughs> I don't understand it. Oh my god. That is not good, dude. How is he so much... Okay, I gotta go get me one of those. That's that's just what it is. I gotta go get one of those. That apparently... It's apparently the fastest car in the fucking world. And so I, I have to go get one. That's, uh, that's, uh, unless it's like a, it's probably a prize car, let's be honest with ourselves. I'm not going to be able to just go buy one of those at face value. That doesn't seem, that doesn't seem like something I'd be able to do. Or would it? It's, I mean, there it is. So, I mean, let, let's, let's look at this for a minute. I mean, 512. I'm, I'm going to buy one. I mean, I, it might as well. It seems to be the, the greatest thing since fucking sliced bread. Um... Ooh, I kind of like this powder blue, though. That seems interesting. Let's do it. Yeah, I'll get in it. All right, let's let's check this out. Just just for the sake. By the way, let's let's check out what my win percentage has boiled down to. Eighty nine. Okay. Well, I mean, what are you gonna do? I'd love to get it back up to ninety, but eh, who knows? Okay, so let's get all these things. I mean, at least I'm putting my money to good use here. I, you know, since apparently all the things that I get are, are not acceptable. <laughs> that, I, I just, I'm so blown away that both of those cars that I tried just, you know, didn't get the job done. Okay, well, oh, hold on. So, let's get, let's get this up to 539. Oh, those things that I installed actually brought it down. I wasn't even paying attention. <laughs> 553. Okay. Racing ship, absolutely. 569. Not a very large increase, but any increase is better than none, so I will take that. Drivetrain. Let's get this. Give us a little bit more acceleration. Always a good thing. Get that racing flywheel. Okay, let's get uh, full transmission. Why not? I'm not really going to go in and tinker with it too much, so I guess I'm not really even using it to its full <laughs> potential. Um, but it's okay. Um, and now, this is where we get to find out what it's really made of. It, see, it's only 739. That's crazy to me. We had two cars that were at, like, n we had, it was at, like, 900 horsepower. And yet, you mean to tell me that this car, this thing right here, it's, well, it's now eight, it's 800 now, but you mean to tell me that this had more top-end speed than those? I mean, that just, that doesn't seem even possible. <laughs> Unless there's just something that I'm, that I'm totally missing here, which is like, probably possible, I guess. I mean, this is gonna, this is gonna end up being one of those races where I'm gonna have to, like, purposefully go and like tinker with the gearbox and have it optimized to a certain level in order to be able to get this thing done. But hey, money well spent, I suppose.
Okay. <sighs> do I even dare? I mean, do I even dare? I mean, why? I'm gonna go into this thing, and it's it's gonna I'm gonna end up falling flat on my face. I just I have this feeling like the game is trolling me right now. I I can just I can feel it in my fucking bones <laughs> that I'm gonna have an identical car, and that thing is still gonna find a way to just it just like piss in my shoes and and laugh at me while it's doing it. I can just feel it. It's not even in here. <laughs> but there's gonna be something else in here that's gonna do it. I can just, I can feel it. <laughs> this is, this is just my luck. Now, now I'm gonna be the only car that should have the advantage here, and something else is gonna get me. Wow, that, wow! Okay. I didn't expect that. That thing took off at lightning speed. That was, that was impressive. Now, what's gonna happen? This is, this is where, this is where, this is where it, it all... This is where it goes down. Okay, I'm at 200. See, this thing this thing is going slower than the one that we raced against, because I was going like fucking 200 and... Oh, yep, here we go. Here they come. So we're dealing with this again. Yet again. This problem's coming up, obviously because I haven't, I haven't, you know, messed with the gearbox the way that I should have, and now we're gonna, now we're gonna deal with it. Okay. Well, obviously, I've got a little bit of research to do outside of this, because uh, these guys are are most certainly properly, you know, put together for this, and I'm I, I've got obviously the right cars to handle it with. I just I need to tinker with these some more. So I think what I'm gonna do now that I I look over and see how much we're, we're at for time, um, I'm definitely gonna check some things out. I'm gonna see how I can optimize. Um, my cars for that race. And when we come back on the next episode of Let's Play Gran Turismo 3 The Ultimate Driving Simulator, since you got to watch me fail that horrendously three times in a row, uh, the fourth time's the charm, I guess. So I will figure out the proper way to get one of these cars figured out. Whether it's this one, the ZZ2, or, you know, the Skyline that we were using. Obviously, one of those has to get the job done. It's got to figure out how to handle it. So, when we come back, we'll do that. Uh, but until then, my friends, this is your host, Lovely Cheese Pizza, saying thank you guys for watching and enduring the weird struggle that was all of that. And uh, I will see you guys next time. So, take care and have a good one. Bye, guys.